It's a, it was a, you had to be there moment. Hopefully we can release the bloopers on that one. So congratulations on this movie. I just watched it this morning. Oh my gosh, this morning, okay. Don't tell anybody no, no, else, but no. But us, all of us, yeah. I just loved the introduction of all of your characters. What was your feeling when you got cast in this and you saw the representation you were about to bring to something so big? Yeah, um, you know, I didn't know when I was auditioning for it what it was, what franchise it was. There was a co-name and that sort of thing. Um, but then when I found out it was just like, I grew up watching Disney. This is iconic to me. Like, I, I think on a personal level, I can't really on a personal level I'm just like I'm really excited to be here like I, I I'm so glad this is my first you know um, feature film and that sort of thing but then it was when their fans started DMing me or like messaging me being like this means so much to me that that was when I was like oh this is so much bigger than me and I feel really honored like really in a privileged position you know to be here and like um, representing people and I hope that they get a good takeaway out of it, but yeah, I mean, I feel super honored. I, I, I'm excited for everyone to see it and meet Aspen, and yeah. Yeah, I, I don't want to give anything, but I love, no, I love their art. Um, Thank you. But like, yeah, this is such an intense fan base that the moment you're cast, they start doing fan art. They start oh, the first pictures. You saw. So, what was your reaction when you saw what you were going to look like in this movie? Because the aliens have such a cool look. Well, so we like discussed it, and I essentially have bright blue hair, and I dyed my hair for it. So that was very much. I had nine hours hours in the chair to process my hair being dyed. I've never done anything in my hair. I cut my hair for it, so I cut it short, I dyed it, so I think it was a very sort of active process for me to be a part. Um, but yeah, the wardrobe team is incredible. If you look at the werewolves, the cheerleaders, the zombies, and then also the aliens, you'll see everything is like very part of that each like community style, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought it was really awesome. I love the, the costumes, the look for the aliens, and even our dance moves are very alien and ask, yeah. you know, so um, I, I love the sort of separation of it, but also how we all come together in the end, obviously. Um, obviously, there's a lot of fun behind the scenes things. What's something like a secret that we might not know about the making? Did you like improvise a scene or is there a certain place where there was a funny blooper that you just couldn't get through? Um, okay, so there is this one scene and it's um, Meg, I can't spoil it, but essentially Meg, we, we, did, we did a lot of night shoots. And at like 2 a.m., you just get, you hit another delusion of yourself, you know? So we were a little like silly or whatever, but Meg just could not get this line and the words are jumbling. I'm not gonna spoil it, but the words are completely jumbled. It's a, it was a, you had to be there moment. Hopefully we can release the bloopers on that one. Yeah. Do you know about what, what time period is in the movies, like in the halfway part, do you know? I was like, so people can kind of it's, it's, get. It's, 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 it's like one of the end. Uh, no, yeah, okay. it's like, that's the thing. It's one of the, it's at the end, it's a really powerful line. And like if people find it, they should tweet it to you and be like, this yes, be yes, line. yes, yes, yes. If you find it, let me know. Yeah. They're here to take what's ours.